Hello, we have two strollers here. These are pet strollers that are designed for dogs. And uh, these are both similar models in terms of uh, concept. My favorite stroller out of these two is the blue one that Akava's in that I'm pointing to right now. It is a much sturdier stroller. It's a little bit heavier. And um, overall, I feel it has a much better design. I'll go through and point out uh, a number of the points and the number of the reasons that I uh, like this a little bit better. Uh, I haven't actually seen a retail price on that red stroller recently, so I don't know exactly what it's selling for. I believe it's a lower cost uh, product. The blue stroller I just looked up tonight, and on Amazon that was at 115, and um, at uh, PetSmart Petco I found it on one of those websites, and it was uh, selling for about a hundred and forty. Um, up top where my hands are now that I'm pointing out are the release handles, and uh, then. Uh, I'm showing the padded handle um, up there right by my hand. It's a much nicer handle on the blue stroller that I'm showing right now. It has better padding on there, uh, thin padding on the red one. So the blue one is definitely more comfortable to push around. The strollers both feature a quick release mechanism to be able to fold them down where you basically I'll show you this in a little while. You depress a switch to the side and then you squeeze in the handle up there. Um, and uh, now I'm going to show you that in uh, a little more detail close up. You can see the switch there uh, that you push over and um, then uh, squeeze into. Uh, Fold. Now I'm showing you the drink tray uh, that will hold a couple of standard uh, soda cans or smaller water bottles in there. They do tend to splash out quite a bit when you're walking around. Uh, this is the enclosure, the hood, and there is a screen I'm going to show you right now that I'm uh, folding up and um, I was at kind of a bad angle in the video so it took me a little bit to get this uh, zipped up. This particular stroller has a very nice larger zipper to it and um, right now I'm trying to zip it from uh, the wrong side there so um, that's taking me a second but um, this is a nice zipper like you'd have on a large winter coat with the larger teeth and um, it, it's a really good pretty uh, smooth zipper it's a little bit of a snug fit, so when I get up in there, uh, yeah, right there, it's just uh, plus I'm at a bad angle trying to you know, keep this video uh, visible in the video. So it's not really what I'd consider a sticky zipper. It uh, is just just a little bit of tight depending on where the angle is. But I've used it many times and um, I, I found it to be a good functional zipper. It doesn't hang up. Uh, doesn't get snagged, doesn't have any broken tooth, um, teeth to it. And um, that's a nice enclosure then. It's really close up pretty tight. Uh, by the edges where it zips um, on either side, there's a little bit of a gap, but not much. Now this is another compartment that you can unzip on the back. You can actually unzip this all the way around. And um, then the, the full back panel there, I'm um, totally uh, opens up. I haven't found a lot of really practical use for that, but um, you know it's there. It's another way you can get your dog in and out of the stroller. So um, now I'm unzipping it. You can see it's nice and smooth, unzips real easily, and uh, folds back open. And uh, then the front, basically, uh, you just fold down. Um, I'll show that in just just a second here in the video. You just fold that over. And uh, then that ends up leaving you with a little bit of a um, lip there that basically gives you a uh, kind of a little bit of an edge, so it keeps this more contained. Um, and that's that's fairly that's fairly firm. It doesn't doesn't squish right down. It leaves you about 
about four or five inches of height. You can see I'm showing you with my fingers there. Uh, as opposed to the other stroller that the Voss goes in, that material is not firm around the front side. And where Vasco's feet are there, um, in the red stroller, he's like basically hanging right at the edge, um, and that material is just flat. So there's really um, not any front edge of any substance you have right there. I'm showing you how that's just flat. Uh, so I like the blue one much better, that it has that edge to it, and um, uh, kind of keeps your dog toys and stuff in there, and and gives them, especially if it's a smaller dog, it gives them just a little bit of an edge to uh, keep them from falling out of there if you don't have it all uh, closed up. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, pull Akva out of the stroller here, just getting his toys out of there, and um, then I'm going to show you in uh, just, just a minute or two here how uh, this uh, folds up and then show you the uh, sizes on here of what the folded up dimensions are. Now, um, I will say when this is folded up on this blue one, it does fit into a relatively small car trunk. Uh, we can get it into uh, my Toyota Corolla trunk, which is relatively small. Now, we did have a larger stroller prior to um, these two, and it was about 30% larger. And uh, it was nicely built. It was a sturdy stroller. The problem is that it was just really too big for us to work with. It didn't fit into either of our car trunks. It had to go in the back seat, which is where the dogs normally ride. So that really didn't work out well for us at all. Um, and just even moving around the house. We use these strollers in the house a lot. And um, this is kind of a safe area for them. Akiva kind of goes back and forth between my lap and the stroller in the day. And um, if it's a real big stroller, it's just, uh, it's just too, too cumbersome and um, awkward. And I just didn't, I didn't see a reason for it. Now I'm just undoing the release here. And... Um, I'm folding the stroller down. Um, there's a little piece on here I'll show you in a minute that's actually what um, hung this up for me for an, for just an extra second. But normally that, that just folds nice and smoothly and uh, folds right down. Now I'm going to jump over here to another view uh, where I'm going to uh, measure this. And uh, right there we have about 16 inches of height when it's folded down. We're just under three feet long, and then uh, as I measure the wheels here, side to side, we're just about 22, just over 22 inches wide on the wheels there. All right, and um, I'm just showing you the front wheels here. These, the front wheels on this are, um, they're really nice and sturdy on this model. They swivel very well. They have a small lock, so you can lock them into just a front-only position. I'm showing you the brake on the back wheels now, which uh, does work well. Um, sometimes it's just a little bit firm to get released, and uh, instead of lifting up with your foot, you may have to just reach down there to unlock it from the locked position. Uh, now I'm showing you the reason that I wasn't able to fold this right up. This is lower basket um, actually has that back piece that I just pulled down a second ago. And um, that basically gives you a little bit more room um, if you are going to put some cargo or something in down there. Right there again, I'm showing it folded down. And uh, it needs to be more in the up position to be able to fold this up, otherwise it it gets in the way, and that was the reason it didn't fold right up for me um, a few minutes ago when I tried it. So, fold it down, just gives you a few extra inches to put things in there. We use that at the farmer's market. We'll put all our bags and stuff down into that lower um, portion there, and that makes it a little easier to get at. Um, otherwise, from the side, there's even a little bit of room, and around the house, one of our smaller dogs actually likes to climb right in there, and... Um, then he just hangs out down in the bottom of that stroller. 
Um, there is a, a little seat belt there that I'm holding up. Um, if I just wanted to jump back in the stroller. Uh, that's worked really well. I just clip that to his harness, especially if I'm going to be on the yard or something, and I, I don't necessarily want to zip up the whole stroller and have him closed in. Um, but I just want to make sure that uh, just in case he got excited about something and he wanted to jump out um, or whatever, this is uh, it's adjustable on the seat belt, and it has just enough length that um, you know he can get out if he jumps. He can be standing by the side of the stroller, and um, it's not going to hang him or anything. But uh, he um, he's not going anywhere without the stroller. So with that seatbelt on, if he jumps out, he's going to be taking the stroller with him. That little lever right there I just have my hand on. Uh, when the stroller is closed up, you can just click that over a little pin that's lower on the stroller that just holds it in that closed position. Uh, so that's just useful when you're traveling with this in your car and such. Um, as I move this around a little bit, I was just showing you that this does, this particular model does roll around very easily. Um, the wheels on this are a good quality and um, they roll in all directions very, very nice and smoothly. Um, no hesitation on them. I can tell they're they're a better quality wheel uh, than the red stroller, which is um, behind me now with Vasco in it. Uh, those are smaller wheels on there, and um, as you'll see in just a little bit, especially those front wheels on that red one do not like to swivel well. And um, it might be a little bit defect, but just looking at the design on there, um, I, I don't get the feeling that that one uh, is nearly the quality of the design overall. Uh, I don't know the total weight, but I would say that one, the red one's about about 30% lighter, and um, all of the parts on that one in general, you can see right here how that front wheel is sticking and I'm pushing against it the wrong direction. Um, and yep, right there, then I had to kind of manually fix that. I don't have that problem with the blue stroller. It, it, uh, those wheels just swivel great and um, uh, no, no problem with that at all. That front edge where Vasco's standing on, that really just squishes right down and basically lays flat, unlike the blue stroller that gives you that little bit of an edge um, for your dog to um, keep them in, keep their toys in there. Um, otherwise, this, is, this one's similar in uh, terms of the hood and the zip-up capabilities. Uh, it has a little extra screen thing on top with a little cover, slightly different design. Same type of drink holder on this one. Um, it actually has a, uh, the drink holder actually has a much a lighter, cheaper plastic uh, feel to it. This is a back screen area. I believe there may be a little bit of a cover that you can um, put on that back area. Um, not sure really what the purpose of that is, um, you know, for the lower, you know, for that lower area that's to the back, um, because you're not really going to be getting water, you know, down in there. And um, I'm just showing the zipper on here. You can't see this real well, but this is a much smaller, more of like a, a light spring coat uh, type of plastic zipper as opposed to the other stroller that has more of one of those larger uh, winter coat type of zippers um, to it. I haven't had a problem with either zipper. Um, I get the impression that the blue one is a little bit um, better quality uh, zipper and um, may last a little bit longer. So here I'm just showing again how that material is not rigid at all on the red one. It just tends to lay down flat, kind of, kind of bunches up, um, you know, j just to the side, and doesn't, uh, doesn't create that nice little edge to the stroller like you have in the, the blue one. So, um, again, on this one, it has a basket. It doesn't have the fold down uh, lip to it like the other one does. Um, and this one is lighter. Um, but like I said, maybe about 30% uh, 
layer on the stroller. Um, and basically between them, uh, choosing between them, the blue one that Aquafus in, that gets used very frequently. Um, actually, every day Aquafus in that stroller. In the summer, we're taking it in and out of the house all the time. He sits out there in the yard with me. Um, you know, that's kind of his place, is just to hang out in the stroller. And, um, you know, we'll take it on walks too. And um, this red one, we've used some, um, but not, not as much as the blue one. We haven't had it as long. The blue one we've had about two and a half years now. Um, so these red ones, as I believe I mentioned before, I haven't seen a price on them recently. Um, I do believe that they are cheaper. They may be like an $80 model or so. If you were going to use a real limited amount, um, or you just weren't really sure about it, I might try the one of the red ones um, in that lower end series. But if you know that you're going to be using this um, more frequently, or you want something that's going to hold up uh, for a longer period of time, then I'd be definitely looking at this blue uh, pet gear model that Akiva is sitting in uh, right now two and a half years out on that. Uh, I haven't had anything break on it. The fabric's all held up. Um, I doesn't claw it a lot, but um, you know he has a little at times when he's excited and uh, the mesh has not torn. Um, you know, he's not broken, not broken anything on it. So it's in you know just as good a condition as when we got it. And uh, you know, we did, we did get that used. So um, I, I have a link on the page where you can go to Amazon and buy it. It's actually the best price that I've seen on there if you're um, you know, going to be buying one new. So thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, do feel free to um, get in touch and uh, leave a comment here, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you.